Kind of a book Hey, here's one that says FBI use no fly list. So really, it goes, uh, does FBI use no fly list to pressure Muslims to, to become informants? And the, uh, it's an Al Jazeera piece, according to the suit, Mohammed Tanvir, a resident of the New York City borough of Queens, was not allowed to travel after he refused multiple requests from the FBI agents to work on their behalf, saying it would violate his religious beliefs. So, Muhammad Tanvir can't travel because his religious beliefs interfere with informing on Muslims who may get nuclear weapons and kill everybody in New York to satisfy their apocalyptic dreams of heaven. Oh, well, I, I have a side. I pick the United States side sometimes, you know. I have a pistol. And my pistol is like the first service pistol that the police ever had. It's a 1905 Smith & Wesson 32 revolver. It is simply not good for anything else but defense across the room. However, it's accurate because it has like little trigger pull and backfire and my wife can use it. I'm missing a shotgun. I have a 22 rifle and a little self-defense pistol with a holster, flap holster, officer's holster. I want a shotgun. To be complete, you need a 22 shotgun and a pistol. And in fact, a derringer is usually what you really need. And you really need to be just able to... You know, I wanted a derringer to keep with my money when I kept my money in my top pocket when I was a cab driver. Uh, Mother Jones have to say, Mother Jones, yes, you should feel guilty about thinking Apple is the best company in the world. Stop glorifying Apple. They are just as shady and backstabby as everyone else. Uh... I had a problem with Panavision and uh, Google. Panavision seems to have picked up on my concept of a uh, program. You can get a program now and make your camera look like Panavision uh, camera would make it look, which I had suggested in at least 2012 because I got a movie that ended up being made about it. I made a little movie of it that event, which ended with Google, because I thought it would be perfect. The thing that inspired me was how perfect that would be for me with uh, Google Glasses, that program. And so they call their thing is Panascout. Now, when I finally got to uh, Google Business um, Concept Submission area, it said that they owned everything once you showed it to them, so I just started talking about wherever I felt like it. Uh, oh well. <laughs> I didn't have a contract. That's why face-to-face -face stuff is so important. How else are you going to get a contract at anybody? For my uh, campaign, uh, strategically, let's see. I mean, the strategic overall thing is to do uh, uh, you know, some work on the uh, U.S. issues and goals, get their goals actually <laughs> lined up with what they're doing for the people, for the greatest number of people who have citizenship of the nation. So defense, 
and education have to be right. And the F-35 pilot's going to have to tell me that thing is worth something. You just have to get me in front of a pilot and tell me that the thing is worth what they're talking about. Some pilots know. They won't talk lots of times, pilots, because they're so sensitive to the people they fly, fly around. They're working class. These pilots working on a contract, you know, hardly getting anything near they deserve. And, uh, they love it, okay? Yeah, sure, right. And they just push the hours for getting, uh, okay, here's, uh, they push the hours at like 1,200 hours before you do anything professional. And, uh, 1,200, they push them up from uh, 250 to 1,200. So private, it's always been private pay. I got I got flight lessons through solo by recovering stolen property like a detective. On marijuana legalization, most presidential candidates agree with Florina, not Christie. And this week, New Jersey Governor Christie uh, reiterated his intention to crack down on marijuana in states that have legalized it if he is elected president. I don't need to read more of that. I don't know who the other named person is, but... <laughs> If you're in prison, if you put you, if they put anybody in prison, arrest them for pot. It's nothing but uh, political oppression. I mean, you're a political prisoner if you're in jail for any reason, distribution, growing, whatever, for just pot. That's all it is, and it's evil. It's gone on too long. Why people put up with it is because they've been properly propagandized in generations in between. My generation, 62, counterculture generation knows all about it. You shouldn't be smoking pot all the time. It'll make you depressed. Turns on you. But it's good for it's good for now and then. Let's see. Marijuana legislation. Bill and Clinton and Tom Vilsack note high value of weed as cash crop. Well, Clinton's all about rice in Arkansas. At a Clinton Foundation event in Colorado, the Agriculture Secretary and former President shared a laugh about weeds value as a cash crop. Well, that's enough for today. My radio show. Thank you. This is Russell Scott Day, senatorial candidate for uh, U.S. seat from North Carolina. And... Uh, I know what I'm talking about. I'm the old man now.